Hello all, this video is on using the SIM 800 L GSM module. This is very economical GSM module, SIM 800 L and it is uh, quad band. On the back side of the SIM 800 module, uh, there is a SIM slot. And on both sides of the module, uh, you can solder the pins for uh, connections. On the top uh, left hand side, first pin is the uh, network pin where you can uh, solder the helical antenna, small helical antenna. This uh, external antenna is optional. This uh, stub antenna with uh, a nut and socket. This can be purchased uh, separately for uh, uh, a perfect uh, network. On the other side of the antenna has got a button you can just press the button on the module uh, where there is a slot for antenna external antenna facility any valid sim can be inserted and you need to use a sim uh, converter like this place the notch in the proper side and insert the sim into the sim holder the sim to be inserted in this direction and uh, you need to press the sim holder to get it locked this is press lock sim you notice the small uh, needle in the sim holder when you press the sim the needle will move and uh, it will release and then lock automatically this sim holder is very flimsy so handle it properly and in case you do not get a network even with the external antenna you need to replace the sim holder as this sim holder is very flimsy take care to handle it properly otherwise you need to replace this sim holder uh, by using a hot air uh, gun from a mobile service shop Generally this SIM 800L uh, comes without uh, pin soldering. You have to solder the antenna and then the pins. A 3.7 volt 1000 milliamps uh, a LiPo battery is a good power source for this SIM 800L module. This can be charged using a TP4056 module. This is very economical and uh, reliable charger for uh, uh, lipo batteries up to 3.7 volt the lipo battery can be connected to the charger uh, like this to the b plus and b minus point of the tp4056 and you can use a uh, cell phone charger to charge the battery a usb to ttl converter can be used to uh, interact with the with your computer in this video we will be using Arduino Uno and uh, we will be connecting the reset pin to ground so that we will be bypassing the bootloader and using the only the UART facility of the Uno. This instead of using the USB to TTL we will be using Arduino Uno. Now let us see the pin connections of the SIM 800L. On the left hand side top the first pin is the network pin. Here you will be connecting the helical spring antenna and uh, external antenna. Uh, there is a socket if uh, that is optional. And power supply uh, 3.5 to 4.2 volt is uh, required. Specified uh, power supply is 3.4 to 4.4 volt. But this 3.7 volt LiPo battery is a good source of power for this SIM 800L. In case you are using a 5 volt adapter, you need to use a a diode like this 1N4007 in series so that it, uh, 0.7 volt will be dropped and you get 4.3 volt in case you use a 6 volt battery you need to use two of these diodes in series to get the power and the last pin in the left hand side bottom is the ground pin and the next pin to VCC is reset it is active low and you need a high to low pulse for a reset and next two pins are uh, UART pins RX and TX. TX generally goes to RX of uh, any microcontroller and RX goes to TX of microcontroller. 
but this uh, rx pin of sim 800l needs a level shifter as the voltage uh, level is only 3.3 volt allowed so you need a level shifter like a simple resistor network will do 1k in series and 2k2 in uh, parallel to ground so 5 volt level of any microcontroller will be converted to 3.3 volt level at the right hand side top first pin is the ring pin normally it will be high and when you get a sms or a, a call it will get a pulse and to the bottom is the DTR pin data terminal ready input when it is high it will go to the sleep mode and uh, UART will be disabled RXTX will be disabled and when you apply low it will be on a module will be on and the next two pins are differential audio input where you can connect a mic and the last two pins are differential audio output where you can connect a speaker now let us use a breadboard to plug in the sim 800 module this uh, sim 800 module is breadboard friendly you can easily plug onto your breadboard and we'll be using this uh, 3.7 volt uh, 1 ampere lipo battery as power source plug in to the top rail the positive pin and to the bottom of that uh, plug in the ground pin a capacitor of uh, 100 uh, 25 electrolytic uh, can be used for a steady power supply notice the plus and minus you should be careful while plugging in the capacitor now we'll be using jumper wires male to male to connect the power the last pin is ground to the left and uh, the bottom pin to the uh, network pin is VCC connect the power source and watch out the LED there is a red LED it will blink once per second initially that is it is searching for network and once it receives network the LED will blink once per three second and the LED blinking will go slower that is once per three second means network is uh, ready now you make a call to the sim of the sim number when you get a ring back now the module is ready for testing now let us see the UART connections TX and RX instead of using USB to TTL we are using uh, Arduino you know and uh, we are going to connect the RST pin of Arduino you know to ground this is to bypass the bootloader so that we will be using only the UART pins of the Arduino you know so now in this connection tx will go to tx rx will go to rx there is straight connection don't get uh, don't get confused as we are bypassing the low boat loader we, it is a straight connection here so this is the level shifter we are using 1k in series and uh, 2k2 to ground a simple resistor network will do for a level shifter that will be applied at the rx pin now let us connect the tx pin now sim 800L that is the near to the ground pin is the TX pin that will go to TX of the Arduino it is a straight connection no level shift shifter needed and at the RX pin you need a level shifter at the RX pin of the sim 800L connect the RX pin of sim 800L to the uh, level shifter uh, resistor one end goes to the level shifter resistor and the junction of the resistor goes to the RX of the you know this is straight connection RX to RX TX to TX as we are bypassing the by a bootloader of the Arduino you know in USB to TTL if you are using USB to TTL it will be reverse RX to TX TX to RX now connect the USB of the Arduino you know to PC and one important connection is ground of Arduino should be connected to ground of sim 800 l both the ground should be made common otherwise signal will not pass from sim 800 l this connection is very important now open the device manager and under ports you will note down the Arduino UNO's COM port we will be using a putty serial terminal for AT, testing AT commands open putty select serial and feed in the com port and the baud rate is 9600 now the serial terminal will open type in AT you will get a OK response from the sim 800L AT plus C OPS 
question mark will return the current network operator my sim is from airtel so it is uh, giving the network operator airtel at plus c ops equal to question mark will search for the surrounding network and it will list out the networks and then it have to know the signal uh, quality you can use this uh, uh, command at command at plus c x s q at plus c s q will return the signal strength of the uh, network to know the baud rate you can use the command at plus ipr and the question mark uh, zero means 9600 baud to change the baud rate you can use at plus ipr equal to wanted uh, baud rate now we will be using the 9600 itself now we can test the uh, dialing at command and sms at commands before that we will reset the putty terminal click on reset terminal to clear the uh, terminal type in at to confirm and to dial a number use atd command followed by the mobile number and semicolon now the call will be ma made to hang the call use command ath the incoming call suppose you call to the sim number of this sim 800 l you will get a ring display so the caller id is not displayed to display caller id use the command at plus cl ip equal to one caller id is enabled now now if you call this sim number you will get the caller colors uh, for mobile number uh, this is how to enable caller id now let us see uh, how to uh, send sms for this first you have to enable the text mode using the command at plus cmgf equal to 1 now the text mode is enabled next use the command at plus cmgs equal to and then the mobile number to send the sms in uh, within double quotes after this you will get a greater than symbol now type in the message to send and then press ctrl z this is very important ctrl plus z to send the message now the message is sent and you can uh, verify the message here thank you for watching